Anatomy and Physiology 1, Movement of the Forearm. Most muscles that move the forearm have origins on the pectoral girdle or the humerus and insert on the radius or the ulna. A muscle that lies on the posterior side of the humerus, called the triceps brachii, extends the arm at the elbow, whereas several muscles that lie on the anterior side of the humerus flex the arm at this joint. These are called extensors and flexors, respectively. Shown here are two such flexors, the biceps brachii and the brachialis. The biceps brachii is a fleshy muscle that lies on the anterior surface of the humerus. It has origins on the coracoid process of the scapula and the tubercle that's above the glenoid cavity of the scapula. It has a single insertion on the radial tuberosity of the radius. Its action is to flex the elbow and supinate the forearm and hand. It has origins on the coracoid process and the tubercle above the glenoid cavity of the scapula and it inserts on the radial tuberosity of the radius. The primary extensor at the elbow is the triceps brachii and it lies on the posterior side of the humerus. It has three portions Also clearly visible on our arm model. One, two, three. It has origins on the tubercle below the glenoid cavity and on the lateral and posterior surfaces of the humerus. It inserts on the olecranon process of the ulna. Shown here again are the three portions of the triceps brachii. An antagonistic action of the biceps brachii and the triceps brachii. The origin of the brachialis is on the anterior surface of the humerus. And it inserts on the coronoid process of the ulna. It has an origin on the anterior surface of the humerus. and it inserts on the coronary process of the ulna. It's also a flexor, and it's the strongest flexor at this joint. The brachioradialis also helps at flexing at the elbow. It has an origin on the distal lateral end of the humerus, and it inserts on the lateral surface of the radius above the styloid process. Origin on the lateral distal end of the humerus, and insertion on the lateral surface of the radius above the styloid process. Next, we'll talk about some muscles that are called rotators because they rotate the forearm. First one is the supinator. It has origins on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and the crest of the ulna, and it inserts on the anterior and lateral surface of the radius. It assists the biceps brachii in rotating the forearm laterally, as in opening a door. It supinates the forearm and the hand. The supinator is shown here on our torso model, and here on our arm model. It has origins on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and crest of the ulna, and it inserts on the anterior and lateral surface of the radius. Two more rotators are the pronator teres and the pronator quadratus muscles. So they're important for rotating the forearm medially, but also pronating the forearm and hand. Pronator teres and pronator quadratus. The pronator teres muscle has origins on the medial epicondyle of the humerus and coronoid process of the ulna and it inserts on the lateral surface of the radius. 
The pronator quadratus muscle has origins on the anterior distal end of the ulna and inserts on the distal end of the radius. Pronator teres, pronator quadratus.